Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I am going to tell you how to uh, generate R graphs in high density. Usually, in, in my previous videos, I have shown you one method and I will show it again here. The first method that we commonly use is that we first of all import the data and, and, and for that, uh, I will adjust the command. So, you have to import the data and by highlighting the command lines and control enter so it will load the data and then uh, load the relevant libraries that is tidyverse in which I, the, the command for ggplot is there then so the first method that that is commonly used is first uh, that is that you have to first make the graph for that press run and it will show you the graphs here now the best best method is that that the previously used is to go and export save as image and increase the pixel size from here by first click here maintain aspect ratio then then 5 for 5 then you can start it at 1600 and click it here it will adjust the frequency and then you just save example graph and then update preview if the if the width and height is too big it will not show it here but if you click this button and press the save it will save in my documents the directory which is commonly by default set in R. So when you save it, it will open a graph in this quality. The problem in this method is even though the pixel density is very high, but but it is not adjusting the, the font size of the text. So the, the bigger the pixels you give, the, the neater the diagram, but the smaller the text. So this is first way. Now I'm going to, just to use the second, second method. Second method is that some journals uh, specify the specific uh, pixel density like some journals say that 300 dpi should be used for that you start with this command that you can uh, you name the file like you will say this graph is effect dot if diff, diff method and units are in inches and you fix the width in inches and height in inches and then resolution 300 dpi so the advantage of this command is that you can fix the length and width so if you think your your picture should look good in square then you should keep equal width and height if you think it should look more like um, a rectangle where the longer side is the side ones not the height and and then the pixel density so if i run this command and then generate the graph and then the the div off button what will happen it will save the command in my documents and then uh, if you go in my documents uh, so you will see there the graph is here so if i open it this is more neat uh, in terms of the details so the, the 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 text is big enough so that even if the picture pixels are more as compared to the previous picture the, the text is uh, relatively bigger font so that it can be read so if if you see the picture size if I go into documents, the first picture was only 5 MB and this is 21 MB. So it is using the, uh, um, the maximum possible quality picture that it can make. You can increase the resolution and it will become more, more in terms of bigger in size and better in quality. So this is a method that you can use to ensure high density graphs in your uh, research works and most of the research journal do require such type of uh, pictures that, that they can show on the website. Thank you very much. See you later.